one of the most fun and satisfying parts about marketing, at least for me, is having new breakthroughs, creating new novel ways of doing things that work better than things that exist in the past that never existed before. And that's really the magic and the joy of, of what marketing really is. I mean, if you think about your business as just like a, a big laboratory, right? Because that's all we really do in marketing. It's just applied human psychology to actions that people take online. If we do X, how do they act? If we think about our businesses like that, then it really opens up a, a door to really play and have a lot of fun in, in what you're doing. And, and that's really, I mean, what drives me every day. I wouldn't be still here doing this after, what, eight, almost nine years, if not for this joy. Finding out new new ways to do things that were never done before. And then, I mean, for me at least, at this point, I'll see like different versions of my pages pop up on different people's funnels and all that sort of stuff. And I'll kind of chuckle. And But it, it's all like parts, parts of the process. It's all fruits of your labor. And um, the way that you do that online, the way that you open the doors to that sort of new, to, to new breakthroughs and novel discovery is through testing and experimentation. And one of the best ways to do that is through what's called split testing. And so what I want to do in this video is just show you how to set up a split test using Google Analytics. Now, there's lots of different platforms and ways to do split testing. And the reason that I want to show you this through Google Analytics is because, number one, it's free. And number two, I think the only reason that more people don't use Google Analytics to do split tests is because they perceive it to be something that's more complicated than it actually is. So hopefully, or at least my hope is, in, is that in walking you through this process, you'll see that it's a lot easier than you thought it was, and you'll start to play. You'll start to have some fun, and you'll start to have new, cool, novel breakthroughs and really evolve what online marketing really is. So without further ado, let me just jump in and show you how to do this. So uh, assuming that you've got Google Analytics set up on your site, you've got all the code on all your different pages and all that sort of good stuff, um, let me first explain what a split test is and then, uh, then I'll jump in. What a split test is, is you're simply testing one variation of a page versus another to see which one converts better. A simple example of this is if you're doing a split test of your lead capture page, which page gets me more leads? My control, the version I've been using that's been getting me consistent conversions, or uh, my experimental page, a new page that I've tweaked that's a little bit different, and I just kinda wanna see if it's gonna work better. So in a split test, all we have in this type of a split test, which is called an A-B split test, is our control page, our experimental page, and then your conversion page. So the page that comes after. And a lead capture page split test, that's your thank you page. So um, let's go through, now that we understand that, there's different types of split tests. This is really, if you get yourself in a habit of just doing simple A-B split tests, in different parts of your funnel, um, that's all you really need. You don't need to get more complicated than that. And so, yeah, with that, let's just jump in and let me just show you how to do this. And of course, if you have questions, just ask them and I'll see if I can point you in the right direction. But really, this, this is simple stuff. So once you're logged into Google Analytics, where you actually set up split tests is you go to the behavior section and then you go to experiments. And here you can see some of the split tests I have for this site, and I've got all sorts of tests, and I'll share all my crazy results with you uh, in, in future videos, so that's all stuff for later. But you come to this page called Experiment, and then what you do is you, cr you click Create Experiment. Now, since this is on the domain 30 checks, we'll just use that. We'll just do, we'll set up a demo lead capture page test, so demo lead capture page split test. All right. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to define the goal, the page that signifies a successful conversion. So if we're doing a lead capture page split test, that's just the thank you page, the page people see right after they opt in. So 
For this, let's create a new goal. And now this is where people get tripped up a little bit. But it's really simple. As long as you've got your Google Analytics code on your thank you page, you're, you're golden. And for this one, we're going to use a page. I'll pull it up. Uh, 30. Let's go here. 30checks.com forward slash business. I'll pull it up so you can see it. Boom, this is what the page looks like. So this is the page we're gonna use. I'm just gonna copy and paste this right here. And I'm gonna go back to Google Analytics and I'm gonna put it in there. It already knows that we're on this domain, so we should be good to go. Go. Uh, we're gonna make it a destination type. That's really the only type you ever use, so don't even worry about the others. That's, in other words, that's the only one that I use, so let me edit this, oops. In terms of name, let me just call this thank you. Thank you page. Business.php. Just so I remember. Okay. Now, in terms of uh, the actual page, this is where I should have put that uh, info, the forward slash business.php. Uh, you can set a value. Like, for instance, if you were doing a sales transaction, you might actually make money for each of those conversions. So you can set up a value if you want to. You can even define an entire funnel path. Again, these things are optional. I rarely use them when I'm doing split tests, so up to you, but I'm not gonna go through them. So let's verify this page, make sure we're good. Cool, looks like we're very good. We'll create this goal, that's our goal. All right, and now what we'll do is we'll go back to our split test, so our goal here is thank you page business and it's goal id for goal set one okay that just helps me to remember all right so let me get in here and we'll go back to our split test and we will now define our goal as in goal set one as goal four completion pretty sure that's it but let me just scroll through to make sure Yep, that's it. All right, so we're good to go there. And email notification, I'll typically choose on. And the reason I do that is just because it'll send me, Google Analytics will send me an email that says, hey, your split test is done when it's done. Now, in terms of advanced options, what I typically choose is I typically choose to distribute my traffic evenly across the different variations of the pages. If you don't choose that, you don't have to, what Google Analytics automatically does is it will dynamically start sending more traffic to the page that converts better. I'm just used to the more like old school, just send the same amount of traffic until we know which one's better. Again, you, there's, you can't break it, so either way is fine. Minimum time to run my experiment, I'm like, I want results fast, so three days is what I always set. Confidence threshold, 95% is good enough for me. You can set it higher, it'll just take the test longer. So I'll leave it at that. So then click next step. And this is where we define our pages. So we have the main page there. This would be called the control, all right? And uh, let's pull up a different page. So let's go to our trusty dusty FTP deal here. And let's pull up that website. It's not that one, here it is. All right, so let's find a different page in our pretend split test. Let's use this one, index-hl.html, all right? So we'll use 30checks.com forward slash index-hl.html. And this will be our variation. And you can see the only difference between these two pages is I think I had a, a headline above here. All right. And that's it. If you wanted to do more than one variation, you could just click add and you could do more than one variation. But for this demo, that's all we really got to do. So we'll click next step. Insert our code manually. I'm always a hands on sort of a person. So control A, control C. And you put this code at the very top, right inside the opening head tag. 
on your control page, so on this page, the index page. All right, so let me go and let me pull up that page. All right. Here it is. And we will edit in transmit. So we'll pull this up and we'll look for the head tag. There goes the closing head tag. There goes the opening head tag. So right here, just pop that in right there. Click save. Should be good to go. Now all we do is we click next step and it should validate it and tell us that we're good. Good. So we have the code in the right place. Everything's set to go. We click start experiment. Bada bing, bada boom, we've got a split test set up. So really that's all you gotta do. It's really easy to do. Um, I just encourage you to, if anything seemed complicated, watch this video a couple times and then just start digging in and playing around some and start running a couple tests yourself. That's when this marketing stuff starts to get really fun and really where you start to add real value to the whole economy, to the whole niche or the, to the whole you know internet because your breakthroughs will make marketing better for other people. So again, yeah, that's really how you do it. There's no more magic to it than that. Uh, questions, comments, let me know, but that's it.